hey guys, as a lazy American, I look at this vehicle right here and say, hey, it doesn't have a motor on it. How am I going to drink beer and drive it? That's exactly the idea of today's video. We are going to add a dragon motor to this canoe. Does the state of Ohio want me to put a motor on this? Technically, probably not. Am I going to do it? Yeah, because Thailand does. So, so the motor is going to be this uh, this gasoline engine back here. Uh, it's a it's a kind of a rare motor. You don't see a lot of them. I think it's called a Predator 212. Here's the motor. So that's going to be the propulsion unit for this dragon boat. Not 100% sure on this, but this is a nice three-quarter square tube. I think we're going to try to make this the propulsion shaft. We're going we're gonna to try a 19 millimeter socket, right? Slides on there pretty good. I mean, it, it wiggles a tiny little bit. I, I don't know. That's what I got. I, mean, I don't know. I can't find anything. I'll have to cut a slot in it for the key to go in. And probably just weld the key in it. I mean, that's... I think that's what we're going to try. I have spent a good while... Um, getting this piece level then leveling that piece we're gonna try and make this the motor mounting plate it's um it's been welded on and cut apart and used i think it should be should be usable so bada bing bada boom we got just carrying the engine from uh from over there to right there and i, I almost slipped and fell a freaking <laughs> Pickle from Subway. Or I guess um, cucumber, but same thing. Okay, so I probably should have shown you cutting the slot. I, I cut a slot in the socket, and then I put the key in it while it was on the motor, and I just did a little dippy-dippy there. And now we're going to get this... Uh, I mean, I'm not going to explain it, but I'm going to get this... Um, bearing put on there so using more high-tech precision instrumenting i have three washers stacked on top of this uh old car bearing it's it's lined up pretty darn good it's pretty good ways from the motor so you think about i mean three or four pieces of metal one's gonna come off the side to over there but we got a motor hooked up to a shaft and it's got a bearing right here then we uh we got these triangular braces i uh i get really caught up in my work and i kind of forget to take video but this was the mount so that thing right there slides on there on that peg and you can spin around right and i'm not i don't trust this hinge so it's gonna be something like this i think they're gonna be a little closer together than that but this thing's gonna have a bar welded on top of it and the bar is going to go through those two holes. And uh, this thing should be able to... So, here we have a... Uh, I mean, it's just why I intended. This thing pivots. Okay, so there there are a couple things that, that are not quite um, final finalized yet. But, for the most part, we have them. Um, we have the motor on the pivoting swivel mount. Oh, I think you can see it pivots and that swivels and then um, that's how you that's how you raise and lower your put a little little way to grab the motor on the front on the uh brand new predator 212 i'm hoping the shaft is straight enough that bad things don't start happening as soon as i start it three two one go <laughs> So this piece of metal right here is going to be the boat prop. I'm going to drill a hole in the center of it, right up there, and that's going to slide over that shaft. I'm going to weld it on the shaft, and uh, the sides are going to be have a bend to them, so it pushes water. Now we have a, a prop on the end, um, custom made specifically for this uh, this motorboat, and um, we're going to start it up, see how well it works.
propeller that we got off of our uh, our boat that had a had an outboard motor on it. That outboard motor turns the same direction that our motor turns. So we can use this propeller we got um, with that boat, put it on here, and uh, well, I just um what I'm trying to do is show you guys. Oh, here it is. Okay, <clears throat> so I just cut this rod right. This is a little piece of rod. I drilled a little. Got a piece of eighth inch TIG wire, right? Piece of eighth inch. It's eighth inch wide. Drilled a hole that's eighth of an inch wide. This eighth inch TIG wire fits pretty good. These slots right here. Let me try to show you. That piece of eighth inch TIG wire sits right down there, right? I mean, I think you can see where I'm going with this. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to slide it through this hole right here. It's um, it's tilted. It's not quite right, but it's like almost to start tightening this thing down. I think we'll work itself out. But yeah, so it's gonna go like that, and um, three eighths. Okay. Whoa, whoa! You're already wrecking. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! 